this is Miss Lauren here at the Hayden Library. Welcome to Storytime today. Did you know that December 4th is National Cookie Day? It's a really great holiday. I always like to celebrate with a cookie story time. So would you, would you mind joining me for that today? I've got all good cookie books to share. So if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Mm -hmm. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Mm -hmm. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. Mm -hmm. If you're ready for a story, say, I am. I am. If you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, let's begin. My first story today is called, Who Ate All the Cookie Dough? And we've got, what animal is this? Yeah, we've got a kangaroo on the front. So, Who Ate All the Cookie Dough is a book by Karen Beaumont. It's illustrated by Eugene Yelchin and um, published by Henry Holt Publishing, which is a branch of Macmillan. So we do thank our publishers all the time for letting us read their great books. Okay, Who Ate All the Cookie Dough? I wonder. See some ingredients, some butter and sugar, flour. There's the kangaroo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who ate all the cookie dough? That bowl sure does look empty. What color's the bowl? That blue bowl is empty. Hmm. Who do you think it might be? Kanga looks around to see. Lion, lion, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? What do lions sound like? Roar! <laughs> yep, that's a baby lion. Lion doesn't say roar here though. He says, I don't know. It wasn't me. Maybe. It's a black and white animal with stripes. Maybe a zebra. Let's go see. Zebra, zebra, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe llama. Let's go see. Llama, llama. Do you know who ate all the cookie dough? I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe cheetah? Let's go see. Cheetahs are super fast. Can you run like a cheetah? <laughs> super speed, cheetah, cheetah. Do you know who ate all the cookie dough? I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe, okay, let's see if you can guess this animal. It's a very hungry, hungry animal. And it starts with H. <sighs> hungry, hungry hippo. Maybe he ate the cookie dough. We'll check. Maybe hippo. Let's go see. Hmm. Hippo, hippo, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? I don't know, it wasn't me. Maybe, oh, can you guess this animal? It starts with a M, 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 and it goes, oh, 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 e -e. Maybe monkey, let's go see. Monkey, monkey, do you know who ate all the cookie dough? Do you see monkey? You see a monkey tail? Where is monkey? Where'd he 
cookie go? Did he eat all the cookie dough? Mm. Yes? No? Maybe so? Monkey says, monkey see, monkey do. It wasn't me. Then who? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who ate all the cookie dough? Doesn't anybody know? Do you know? Hmm. We know, we know, we know who. See if you can guess it too. It was... <gasps> Baby Kangaroo! He's even got a spoon in his mouth. That's very incriminating. <laughs> Baby kangaroo. Boo! Can you jump up and go, boo? <laughs> so, did you guess? Did you guess it was that baby kangaroo? You know, first time I read this story, I did not guess. <laughs> but, then I read this story with some smart kids like you, and they pointed out that underneath this apron in this picture, there's actually a little clue. So that was, who ate all the cookie dough? Well, now it's time for a little bit of book show and tell, I guess. Behind me, I have most of my very favorite books about cookies. And I, don't get to read them all today, sadly. <laughs> but hopefully you can put some of them on hold to read with your family at your house. There's one more I wanted to show you that maybe you can't get at the library because it's so old. This is from my home library. It's called Cookie Monster and the Cookie Tree. And it was given to me by my grandma. It says, in 1983. That means I was about as old as a lot of you are right now, and my grandma gave me a nice book. And who would think that all this time later, I'd be here in a library doing a cookie story time <laughs> with this really great book. So, I really like Cookie Monster. He has an excellent song about cookies, and it talks about what letter cookie starts with. Do you know what letter cookie sound starts with? It sounds like k, k, k. And it's the letter C. So, if you know anything about Cookie Monster, it's that he loves cookies and he just starts putting them in his mouth as fast as he can. <laughs> and he's got a song that goes like this. Can you make a C? Great. Uh-huh. And then we'll do sign language cookie. Sign language for cookie. That's sign language for letter C, actually. And then you use your letter C, and it's like you're, it's like you're cutting out a cookie with a cookie cutter, like this. That's cookie. All right, so here we go. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Let's try it again. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. A little bit of Sesame Street throwback for you. <laughs> okay, let's also do another rhyme. Maybe you know this one too. It is called Patty Cake Cookie Version. Okay, so we start with 
getting a good beat with a pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cookie as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a C for cookie. Awesome. Put it in the oven for my friends and me. Nice. Let's try it one more time. This time, instead of putting a C on the cookie, why don't you put a letter from your name? My name's Lauren, so I'll write an L on it. Have you thought of your letter? Okay, good. Let's try it then. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cookie as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a L. <laughs> Put it in the oven for my friends and me. Good. Now take them out of the oven and blow on them <laughs> so they're nice and cool. And eat them. Nom, 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 Very good. All right. So I have one more book I get to share with you today. It is called Who Put the Cookies in the Cookie Jar? Which is another question title, isn't it? This book's by George Shannon. Pictures by Julie Pashkis. And the book is published by Henry Holt Company, subsidiary of Macmillan. So Again, we thank Macmillan for letting us read this great story. It's a really lovely story about how cookies come to be made. Who put the cookies in the cookie jar? One hand in the cookie jar takes the cookie out. hands put the cookie in is what the world's about. Lots of cookies to choose from. Which one do you think you'd pick? Hmm, which one do you think you'd pick first, I guess, is the real question. <laughs> Tough choice. Hands that mix and stir the dough spoon the clumps into a row. Hands that make the cookie sheet, oven mitts against the heat. Oh yeah, those are pretty important. Those are those mittens that you wear on your hand so you don't burn them when you take your cookies out. Hands that feed and milk the cow. Can you guys sound like cows? Ooh, ooh. Churn the butter, guide the plow. Hands that sow and grind the wheat into flour for us to eat. Hands that tend and feed. Who are they feeding? They're feeding the chickens, aren't they? Feeding those hens. Hands that tend and feed the hens and then gather the eggs, build the pens, Hands that harvest sugar cane, cut and grind, load the train. Hands that load the trucks and drive. All right, we have to get out our trucks. Can you get out your steering wheels? Honk, honk, truck horns. Stock the shelves when things arrive. There are lots of jobs, lots of jobs to make a cookie. Hands that clothe and feed them all, heal and teach, large and small. Hands that help the hands that help are what the world's about. Many put the cookie in so one can take it out. Oh good, they're sharing all those cookies. It's a cookie party! Hmm. And 
that looks like a fine sugar cookie recipe. Who put the cookies in the cookie jar? Turns out a lot of people are involved, huh? So, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I hope that you have a very happy National Cookie Day. I hope that you keep calm and eat cookies. <laughs> and I hope that you can find a great way to celebrate either by eating a cookie or reading a book or just sharing the day with someone you love. Have a good one. We'll see you soon. Bye.